This morning we're going to cover just a brief example of grouping by and aggregating. And we're going to do this in the situation of adding, or I'm sorry, yeah, adding a total number of successes and failures. So let's go ahead and let's switch to our database and then let's look at habs.find.pretty. And we'll see that we have, of course, uh, days of failure and days of success. So let's suppose that we wanted to calculate the number of failures and the number of success, the total number of failures and the total number of success. Okay. So we would we would want to in SQL we would want of course group by and sum. So what we're going to do is the equivalent here in MongoDB. So we're going to use the aggregate operator. And I will pass in the group by function here. Now I'm going to select, I'm going to group by the ID field. Okay, and I'm going to call this all habits. Okay, so it's going to group by this field here, ID, and I'm calling this all habits. And then I'm going to look at the total success. I'm going to call it the total success. And the total success is going to be equal to the sum and it's going to be equal to the sum of the days of oops, underscore success. And then I'm going to look at total failures. Well, let's just do failure since it was success. And we will look at the sum of days of failure. Okay. And we see that we get the ID, all habits. We get the total number of success, which is 649. So there's 649 successes. And we get the total number of failure, which is 17. And the total, of course, would be the evil number 666, which means it's about a 96-97% success ratio. So what we're looking at here, so let's just review really fast, is when we look at the days of success, what I'm, what I'm doing is I'm adding all these up, okay? So I'm adding these together, and uh, one of the things I was noticing um, now that I'm looking at this, it almost looks as if... Um, This I'm talking about the application, not the document, but I did, it was like, this is kind of peculiar, the day so far and the day's success. I would think that the day so far would be the entire time that it's been going on, but this actually is refers to the current streak, and the days of success refers to the total number of successes. It's actually pretty interesting. And so, yeah, that makes sense because of the past streak. So it's, it's, a, it's an application that produces a JSON output. It's pretty interesting because like, yeah, this application actually stores data pretty interesting. Um, so when I look at the, the days of failure and then I look at the days of success, we can see that there's, you know, what is it, 17, 17 failures. You can always verify by adding each individual up just in case you have any doubts. Um, but I can look at this and say days of failure and you see 15. So I automatically know, okay, so there's days of failure one and then there's zero and then there's zero, there's zero there, there's zero there, there's one there, and there's zero there. So yeah, there's 17 total. So obviously this one right here, um, this first habit, which has a, a streak of 143, looks like currently, um, actually had a lot of a lot of failure. Um, and that's actually, huh, this is the 80-20 rule, by the way, in action. You'll notice that when you look at the 20 per, or the 80% the of the failure, well, actually in this case, over 90%, has been really with one habit. All of the other habits have actually been uh, very successful so far. Um, but it's just that one habit that actually threw this number off. If I was to uh, subtract, let's say, 15 from here, and um, then I would be looking at you know, two. So anyway, it's pretty interesting uh, to look at. Um, but that's how you can group by. So what we're really looking at here is we're saying, okay, so we're gonna group by, we're gonna call this habit, so I'm grouping by the ID field. 
that's what this is and I'm calling it all habits and just like I'm creating you know this column total success here and I'm saying hey this is going to be the sum of the days of success and the total failure is going to be the sum of the days of failure so we're adding all the days of failure and we're adding all the days of success okay and then we're getting the results and we're saying hey there we go so yeah this is an example of a way that you can you know aggregate um, or I'm sorry, group by and then aggregate, which is usually what we do. And even in SQL, when you group by, you're going to group by like the, you're going to group by like a, what, what is it? An example of one would be like a date field as a case in point. And you may add up, let's say, a loan balance ratio, for instance, or you may pass in like the 200, you know, simple moving average, the sum of the, you know, 200 moving average. Or I, you could say the overall average of the 200 simple moving average as a case in point to see where that's at and then do your ratios based on there. So this is just an example of, of one in which you can use the aggregate function off of the db.collection.aggregate and then do your group by and aggregate accordingly.